do you continue to be fearless every day and be your true self? You be fearless every day and when you don't feel like it, just pretend, girl. That's it. <laughs> really and truly, don't let them see you sweat. If you are at home and you're sitting on your couch and you are watching this right now, all I have to say is that this is hard work. I've worked hard for a long time and it's not about, you know, it's not about winning, but what it's about is not giving up. If you have a dream, fight for it. There's a discipline for passion and it's not about how many times you get rejected or but you fall down or you're beaten up. It's about how many times you stand up and are brave and you keep on going. Thank you. Don't you ever give up. Don't you ever give up on you. Don't you ever give up on your dreams because no matter what, if it is meant for you, it will not miss you. So you must believe in yourself. You must really get up off of the sidelines of your own life and get in there and fight for you. You're the best person out there to put up the good fight for you. And just know, you don't make it at 10, you can make it at 30. You don't make it at 30, you can make it at 50. You don't make it at 50, you can make it at 60 and still give them goodness. That's my biggest achievement in life. I know who I am. I love who I am. I like what I do and I like how I do it and I like my mistakes and I like the way I learn and I like the pace with which I learn my mistakes. I don't wanna be anybody else but me. And, and by knowing this, I wanna continue figuring out who the fuck I am. That's it. There's that terrible rumor out there that women can't get along. And man, did we just murder that rumor. We just loved each other so much. And it was so special, you know, like, it, the movie was always going to be significant because yeah. of what it is and who's in it. But it was really significant for me because it was my first movie after having my son. And, you know, and um, I'm not somebody, I, 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 one of the lucky things about being in this business for so long is that I've really kind of come to terms with the pressure that you get to look a certain way as an actress. And I don't beat myself up about any of that stuff anymore. But I had, after I had my son, my, the weight was really slow to come off. And so I was a different size than I normally am. And the director told me, like, that's great. We have eight women in this movie. We need to have as many body types up there as we can, which I was really relieved to hear. But I walked on the set and like, you know, my weight's a little up and I'm just, I'm just aware of it. And I walk on the set and like, I'm in my jeans and I've done my best and I'm gonna love myself no matter what. And Sandy Bullock just looks up and goes, looking good, mama. <laughs> I was like, oh, that made me feel amazing. And then Kate Blanchett's like, nice jeans, Hathaway. I was like, Ooh. this is so great. And then Rihanna looks up and goes, damn, girl, you got an ass. <laughs> And I, of course, was <laughs> freaked out and loved it so much. And I was like, really? And she goes, you got to ass like me. <laughs> and I can honestly say I've never had that experience on a film set before. And to every girl listening out there, you will forever be empowered by knowing that no one, absolutely no one, can close the door that God has opened for you. What advice would you give to young women trying to make it? I would say it's important to know that you are damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. There is a negative connotation or a ridiculous accusation or a rude stereotype that can be hurled at a woman for doing anything or not doing anything. So focus on your idea of right and wrong, your idea of who you should be, your idea of what's cool, not everyone else's because it's never all going to match up. Yeah. The fact that my personality and the way I speak and my confidence is what won me that crown made me feel like confidence is your best accessory. There is nothing else you need. If you, the only thing you need to wear well is your confidence. But to the doubters, the naysayers, to everyone who gave me hell and said I could not, that I would not, that I must not, your resistance made me stronger, made me push harder, made me the fighter that I am today, made me the woman that I am today. So thank you. It means that a wife is equal to her husband, a sister to her brother, not better, not worse. They are equal. UN Women, as you guys know, has defined the year 2030 as the expiration date for gender inequality. 
And here's what's staggering. The studies show that at the current rate, the elimination of gender inequality won't be possible until 2095. That's another 80 years from now. Women make up more than half of the world's population and potential. So it is neither just nor practical for their voices, for our voices, to go unheard at the highest levels of decision making. How would you describe your work ethic? Relentless. And what do you hope your kids learn from you being relentless? That if you work hard, you can accomplish anything. I don't chase, I attract. What's meant for me will simply find me. Join the best lawyer. And I zeroed down on someone called Sachin Choudhury. But it was extremely difficult to get an appointment with him. So after great difficulty, I did. He had some idea why I had come, but he wanted to be completely clear. So I told him that I wanted to practice law and I wanted to join his chambers. He was not in favor of women joining the law, so he tried to dissuade me. He said, young woman, instead of joining the legal profession, go and get married. So I said to him, sir, I'm already married. <laughs> then go and have a child, he advised. I already have a child. <laughs> it's not fair to the child to be alone, so you should have a second child. <laughs> I said, Mr. Choudhury, I have two children. <laughs> so taking the back for the third time, he said, come and join my chambers. You're a persistent young woman, and you will do well at the bar. After about 20 years of practice, I was appointed a judge at the Delhi High Court. And in 1991, I was the first woman to be Chief Justice of a state high court. To all of you watching here, come close to the screen and listen. People don't have to like you. People don't have to love you. They don't even have to respect you. But when you look in the mirror, you better love what you see. You better love what you see. Do you believe that you do manifest things? Yes. Like one is capable of manifesting? I've been told to manifest, you, whatever it is that you are wanting to manifest, you, you speak to it as though it's already happened. Okay, I like that. So thank you for this wonderful job that I have dreamed about and prayed for and I, with this glorious crew and a joyful experience. Thank you for that. It is literally impossible to be a woman. We have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing it wrong. <laughs> You have to be thin, but not too thin. And you can never say you want to be thin. You have to say you want to be healthy, but also you have to be thin. You have to have money, but you can't ask for money because that's crass. You have to be a boss, but you can't be mean. You have to lead, but you can't squash other people's ideas. You're supposed to love being a mother, but don't talk about your kids all the damn time. You have to be a career woman, but also always be looking out for other people. You have to answer for men's bad behavior, which is insane, but if you point that out, you're accused of complaining. You're supposed to stay pretty for men, but not so pretty that you tempt them too much or that you threaten other women because you're supposed to be a part of the sisterhood, but always stand out and always be grateful. But never forget that the system is rigged, so find a way to acknowledge that, but also always be grateful. You have to never get old, never be rude, never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear, never get out of line. It's too hard, it's too contradictory, and nobody gives you a medal or says thank you. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. <sighs> I'm just so tired of watching myself and every single 
other woman, tie herself into knots so that people will like us. There's a different vocabulary for men and women in the music industry, right? Give me an example. Okay, a man does something, it's strategic. A woman does the same thing, it's calculated. A man is allowed to react, a woman can only overreact. You will learn that by saying yes to everyone all the time, you're actually saying no to you. And that people's opinions of you often have nothing to do with you, but mostly to do with how they feel about themselves and their own insecurities. Drop the guilt. Relax. It is not your responsibility to please everyone and fix everything. Slow down. Breathe. Trust your intuition. And remember, it's about giving and receiving. And that's a really interesting thing about the, the, the gender divide in the way we raise young people is there are young, some young men, there are some young men in this world, and one of them is in office, who dream of having power so they can abuse that power. Oh, yeah. And there are young women who dream of having power so that they will no longer have to be abused. And that is the ultimate divide. That, is that a young man gets to grow up and go, I can't wait till I have power because I can do whatever I want and no one will stop me. And a young woman goes... Once I have power, I won't have to worry about anyone using theirs against me. And that is the ultimate, like, that's the discrepancy in the whole thing. He said, number one, Duke Ellington said to Tony, never give up. Number two, always listen to rule number one. <laughs> you never give up. He made me think there were no rules, but I was wrong. There are no rules if you're a boy. If you're a girl, you have to play the game. What is that game? You are allowed to be pretty and cute and sexy, but don't act too smart. Don't have an opinion. Don't have an opinion that is out of line with the status quo, at least. If you are constantly pushing yourself higher, higher, the law of averages, not to mention the myth of Icarus, uh, predicts that you will at some point fall. And when you do, I want you to know this, remember this, there is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Now, when you're down there in a hole, it looks like failure. <laughs> so this past year, I had to spoon feed those words to myself. And when you're down in the hole, when that moment comes, it's really okay to feel bad for a little while. Give yourself time to mourn what you think you may have lost. But then, here's the key. Learn from every mistake. Because every experience, encounter, and particularly your mistakes, are there to teach you and force you into being more of who you are. I have never understood why some people are lucky enough to be born with the chance that I had to have this path in life, and why across the world there's a woman just like me, with the same abilities and the same desires, same work ethic and love for her family, who would most likely make better films and better speeches. <laughs> Only she sits in a refugee camp, and she has no voice. She worries about what her children will eat, how to keep them safe, and if they'll ever be allowed to return home. I don't know why this is my life, and that's hers. I, I don't understand that, but I will do as my mother asked, and I will do the best I can with this life to be of use 